Hi, welcome to the Pink Moon Tarot. I'm Nikki, the Pink Moon Tarotist, and I am here to give a general money reading for the month of August for the Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign of Virgo. So, as I say, these are general readings and not everything will resonate with you, so please do feel free to pick up anything that does and leave the rest behind. And if you know your moon, your rising or your Venus, and I've posted all 12 videos at once, you'll be able to find those linked in the description box below. If I post them beforehand, then um, do bear with me. It may take me a day for the links to all be present. I also want to say a big thank you to all my Virgos that have already subscribed to my channel. You've really helped me to grow. I'm at over 2,000 subscribers now, and that's absolutely lovely. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you haven't subscribed yet, then please consider doing so because it really does help me to grow, which means that my videos get seen by more people. My messages get seen by those that may need to hear them. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to point the camera down. And let's take a look at Virgo. Money and success for August 2021. What do my Virgos need to know, please? I'm starting off with the chariot. And ten of cups. Nice. Ooh. A hanged man. A hanged man has shown up a lot in these readings. You might like to know, Virgos. There's a time for reflection for a lot of people. Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune. Nice. Oof. And we have the Three of Swords and the Six of Cups in the reverse. Hmm. And we have Nikki not able to shuffle. Okay, let's try that again. Virgo, money. Page of Pentacles. The Devil. Pretty mixed emotions going on here for you guys. Ace of Wands. And your overall energy is the Two of Wands. Okay, so Virgos, the month of August, your overall energy being the Two of Wands, this is about a choice, okay? And um, twos are all about choices. The Two of Wands is about choosing where to go next. Are you going to stay with your old life, stay with what's comfortable, stay with what you know, or are you going to move towards something different, taking a chance, taking a risk, going towards a different future? Now, there's nothing wrong with staying put. Sometimes that's what we want to do. But are you staying with something that you feel comfortable with, even though it's not something that is necessarily good or necessarily successful or necessarily what you want is it just simply because it is something you are comfortable with the cards are sticking to my hands my arms rather and also you may be looking at moving traveling we have the world at her knees here she's looking at the window contemplating a literal where do i go next so this month is all about you looking to that future, looking to see where you want to be. Where do you want to go? What direction do you want to go in? And you may be considering a move. You may be considering traveling for work, um, moving away from, from a current job into a new job, um, moving home. You know, there, 
there could be actual physical movement involved or it could just be a movement within yourself, a shift of, of attitude. Like I say, leaving behind what is comfortable and familiar because it's not really working and you know that you need to move away from that, okay? So you will know, you will know what that choice is that you need to make. And some of you, it, it's going to be quite a difficult choice. And it's interesting, very interesting. We're starting off with the chariot. Now, the chariot and the ten of cups, I'm not sure whether they came out in the upright or the reverse. But I'm going to read them in the upright. The chariot is the, um, is the card of movement, of victory, of success, of charging towards what you want. And this is a good thing. This is a positive thing. The part of that where the choice comes in is you have this white horse trying to go in one direction and this black horse going in the other direction. And the chariot's, chariot driver's job is to steer them both in the right direction in order to gain that momentum to move forwards, to go forwards with um, with positive intention, okay? So this, because this is a money reading, this is to do with you positively choosing the path that you are going to make your money on and not having the fear holding you back, you know, knowing that you can be victorious in this, that you, that success awaits you. But you have to make that choice to bring those horses together and charge in the right direction. OK, next to that, we have the Ten of Cups. Now, as I say, I'm not sure whether this was upright or or in the reverse when it came out. Um, but in the upright, the, this is about family and community and love and abundance overflowing. So, you know, are you charging towards that? Are you charging towards that sense of um, unified uh, souls of being, you know, having your cup overflowing, of feeling that abundance, feeling that over the rainbow feeling? Or are you spilling your cup? Are you... Um, are you struggling to communicate? Are you struggling to make connections? Are you struggling with the the love areas of your life? You know, are you are you not sure? Um, are you not feeling supported? Because if you're if you're going to take that chariot towards victory, you need to be charging towards that sense of security, that sense of abundance and love overflowing okay and abundance and love overflowing is all it you know it's it's all connected to your money success your money health is based on your your um mental health as well if you like it's based around how you feel how you feel supported how you feel loved success is a multi-layer thing success is not a figure in your bank account OK, it's it's a multi level thing. You can have all the money in the world and then um, be hit by a bus the next day. It's not going to do you any good. Um, you can have all the success in the world, but have no one in your life to share it with. So, you know, like I say, success is a multi layer thing. And the Ten of Cups is there to show you that you want that multi layer. You want to be working towards those that full and complete sense of success, not just financial. OK. That was a very long winded way of saying that. Sorry. We then next to that Ten of Cups have the Hanged Man. So and that's next to that chariot as well. So the Hanged Man can be here to show you that um, that things might take a little bit of time. You know, it's life in suspension. But the hangman puts himself into suspension. So maybe it's time for you to stop and take a breath, to look at things from a different perspective. The hangman turns himself upside down so that their crown chakra is lit up so that they can see things from a different perspective, from a different angle, looking at the whole picture. And like I say, we've got that ten of cups there. That's the whole picture. That's not just financial success. That's that's looking at 
success on a broader scope. This isn't the micro, this is the macro we're talking about. And that's what the hanged man is there to encourage you to do, to look at things from a bigger perspective, from the whole picture perspective, okay? And, you know, the chariot is pushing you towards that victory. So this is within gr your grasp. This is within reach. We then, underneath that chariot, have the wheel of fortune. Fortune is in your favour. This is fate. This is destiny. This is... This is something that should happen, that you are on course for getting, okay? Success, fortune in your favour, things going in the right direction. However, in the middle here, you have the Three of Swords. So, my lovely Virgos, this is showing me that you have suffered, you have you have suffered heartache you've suffered loss you've suffered pain you have suffered through life and things have not always been a garden of roses okay and that's you know that that can take its toll which might be what is holding you back at the moment from achieving that success from driving towards your destiny because you have this this broken heart this fear, this loss, this, this sense of things that have, that have hurt you in the past. But don't say stuck in this, okay? And I know it's something from the past because next to it we have the Six of Cups in the reverse. Now the Six of Cups, when it's in the upright, this is the card of nostalgia, the card of working on your inner child, of looking back with rose-tinted glasses and, and all of that lovely stuff. When it's in the reverse, this is showing me that something in your past has caused this heartache. Something something has left you feeling wounded, left you feeling hurt. But the Three of Swords is also there to say that it's time to mend that broken heart. Now, it may not be a broken heart in a romantic sense. There's all sorts of things that can break your heart. But something from your past needs to be healed in order for you to get those horses going in the same direction and charge forwards into victory. There is a wound there that is currently open that you need to seal. You need to come to terms with it and let it go and release it. Especially as underneath that Three of Swords, we also have the Devil card. Now the Devil is, you know, it's codependent relationships um so it may be something to do with a codependent relationship working relationship romantic relationship whatever it is that has left you feeling that wound that that broken open um it's it's to do with addiction um you know you may you may have an addiction you may have dealt with someone with an addiction but when the devil shows up this is showing that that underneath that three of swords this is showing that you you really need to cut the cords with that devil inside you you can see here he's holding the puppet on the strings you need to cut those strings because he is inside of you this is not someone else pulling your strings it may feel like that and it may have been that way in the past you may have had like I say, a codependent relationship, a toxic relationship that has left you feeling really wounded and left you feeling really unsure how to move forwards. And this, this holistic picture of success, as I was saying, it's all intertwined. In order to make money successfully and move forwards financially successfully, you need to be balanced in every area of your life and this is the, this is the message i'm getting through for you my lovely virgos is that there is something that is imbalanced in your in your personal life that is blocking your success in your financial life and this is what needs to be worked on now, underneath that chariot and that wheel of fortune, those success cards, those moving towards things, that fate, that 
driving towards victory is the page of pentacles and the page of pentacles is here with his message saying work on you work on your skills work on what you can do work on your knowledge your your wisdom your inspiration you know working on you to plant those seeds for your future to get that financial abundance that you need okay so this is this is to remind you that you are a co-creator of your life so you need to work with spirit with source with your guides you need to work with the universe because you are co-creating your life so work on you work on how you can can get to that point of victory look at things from that holistic point of view look at the areas of your life that are not going well and choose to go in a new direction choose to move forwards choose happiness choose success choose victory and we end with the ace of wands so this may come to you in a sudden bolt of aha you know that aha moment that oh that's what she was talking about during that video that made no sense when i first watched it but now i can see what she means you know, it's that moment of clarity, that moment of inspiration striking. The, the third eye is lit up here. It is the unseen being seen. It is that creative energy. Aces are beginnings. So by the end of the month, you are going to be seeing your way forwards. You're going to be feeling that inspiration striking once again. And you are you will be feeling more positive and more joyful and more connected to your higher self and once you are connected and once you can see the big picture and you can see things in a holistic way then you will see the way to make your financial successes happen okay so there is a bit of work to do but ultimately you are driving forwards towards success you are on the right path you just need to see it and you need to make the choice to leave behind things that aren't healthy and helpful to you with that devil energy there, okay? It's time to heal. It's time to put the past where it belongs well behind you. I had a lot of that this month too. Okay, we are going to take a look at the Enchanted Map Oracle. These are Colette Baron Reed, and as with all maps, they show direction. So let's see what direction is ooh, going on at the moment. So we've got two. We've got the deep freeze. Oh, can't pick it up. It's spinning round and round. And rock bottom. Mm. When you hit rock bottom, there is only one way to go, and that is up. Okay. So when, when you feel like this three of swords, the three of swords is rock bottom. The three of swords is that pain, that loss, that, that ouch, that hurt. That was not nice. I did not enjoy that. I don't want to go through that again. That's what the three of swords is. And that's what um, rock bottom is. It's, it's surrendering, you know, accepting that you are you are at a point where you can't keep going in that direction anymore you know because there's nowhere else to go you can't go any further in you can't go any further down it's time to accept the the keys to freedom here you know um you can't keep doing things in the same way and expect different results that's what this card represents this rock bottom you know, if you keep going in the same direction, you keep trying to go on the same path, you know, it's like what is above is below right here. They are identical. You keep going this way and you end up here. So you turn it around and you think, OK, well, I'll just keep going this way and you end up here. You've got to change direction. You've got to change the course, accept 
that change is needed. And then we have the deep freeze. Now this card um, is about not pushing, not, um, you know, not, not trying so hard. If you've been, if, if you've been peddling like mad and getting nowhere fast, hence the rock bottom card, then it's time to take a step back and breathe. Take that time to reflect, to look at things from a different perspective. You know, um, the deep freeze, it sounds like a scary one, but it says, you know, it's, it's that everything has a season, okay? And now is the time to rest. Now is the time to stop pushing and stop trying so much and, and to just take a step back and breathe. Okay, because if you don't take a pause, then you'll, you're not going to see how to go forwards. It's that hanged man. It's that putting yourself into a state of suspension. Okay, in order to see the way forwards. That's what the deep freeze is all about. So it's time to look after you. It's time for that self-care. It's time for you to reflect on what it is you want. What is your Ten of Cups? How does that look to you? It's a very mixed bag for you for August, I think. But it's it's all basically saying, you know, you've got some you've got some stuff to work through here, Virgo. And once you've worked through it, then you can charge on to success again. But I think you've been charging so hard in multiple directions and getting nowhere fast. And yeah, we have the dragon's jewel. Inner conflict, morality, conscious choice. Hmm. Yeah, you see, there is there is a duel going on with inside you. There is some battle going on within you that you need. It's that chariot energy of the two horses going in different directions. You know, it's the feeling like you're being pulled apart, feeling like you're a puppet on a string. It's all of that. You need to make the conscious choice to stop, regroup, breathe. And then you can move forwards in a much more successful way. The wheel of fortune keeps on turning. No matter what you're doing, you know, the wheel of fortune will keep on turning. This is your moment in time to stand on top of that wheel and stop it for a little while. To take a breath, to take a pause and work out what you want and where you actually want to go. And what you need to release as well. Because by the end of the month, you know, the spark will come back. And it'll be time to get going again. But in a positive way. Yeah, and then we have the yin energy. So the feminine energy of going within. Of seeing the unseen. Looking at the unknown. Connecting with your higher self. Self-care being gentle with yourself, being nurturing, being caring towards yourself. It's all pointing to the same thing here. This is an odd reading for money, I know, I know. But I think it's because if some of you have been, you know, working towards something and not getting any success, not seeing the financial rewards, then it's time to reconsider what that was. Yeah, okay, and we have the initiation. Rite of passage crossing the threshold. Yeah, in order to come out of the shadows, you need to, you need to take that pause. You need to regroup, reassess, and find the route through. Okay. Let's take a healing with the fairies. Mm -hmm. 
and we have awakening your true self. This is the way you're going to make your money and be successful, is to awaken your true self. Find your true purpose and you can only do that if you stop peddling in the same direction, doing the same thing you've always been doing and work out what it is that Virgo wants to do, what it is that you actually need from life and what direction you need to go in. Ha, huh. I just picked that up and on the reverse of it there is the judgment card. Let your inner desires come out and release the past. Let it inform the present and the future, but don't let it dictate. Wow. Okay, my lovely Virgos. Looks to me like August is going to be a month of reflection for you and a month of getting things in place so that you can charge forward into victory and get what you deserve. Okay, until next time, please do remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Namaste.